Hi, and welcome to another edition of Kim's Kitchen. This is the 13th edition and the next to the last entry in the Real Women of Philadelphia Cream Cheese Contest. And tonight I'm dedicating this episode to Miss Paula Dean. I've hardly gotten to speak to you during all of this. And tonight I decided to make a recipe that might be close to your heart. I know I love pecans. So tonight I'm making a pralines and cream chocolate cups. We're going to head right over to the stove. So let's get cooking some chocolate cups and some pralines. We're going to multitask here. I've got one cup of mini chocolate chips. They melt really fast. You can use regular chocolate chips, but I saw these and I knew I wanted to make this in a hurry. Okay, I've kind of got a small heavy saucepan here. What I'm going to do, I've got a cube of hard butter here. I'm just going to butter this pan real quick on the insides, the sides, and the bottom, because this is how we're going to make our pralines. Is it pralines or pralines, Paula? I don't know. It could be potatoes, patatas, tomatoes, tomatoes. I don't know, but I'm going to say pralines because that's what we say here in Colorado. Pecans and pralines. I'm going to pour in three tablespoons of whipping cream, about a quarter of a cup of brown sugar, I'll just crumble that up in there so we can get that going. And I've got one quarter cup of granulated sugar. Just pour that in there too. And we'll get this all whisked together. And we're going to keep an eye on this. It's on a medium heat right now. So we're going to cook it to a softball stage. So, As you can see, that's already bubbling up. It's only been a minute. I'm going to turn it down just a hair. See, these chocolate chips are already melting. Ooh, we're steaming up our iPod lens, too. Oh, look at that. That's already melted up. See, that only took two minutes, too. And yet another minute later, this is really cooking away. It looks like it already could be done. This is our praline mixture. We're going to get a teaspoon and test this out. I've got a little bowl with an ice cube and cold water in it. We're going to check and see if this forms a soft little ball when we put it in here. Let's see. Oh, look at that. That only took three minutes. There's a soft little ball for sure. We're going to turn that off. Those pralines cooked ultra, ultra fast. I maybe should have turned them down just a little bit. They cooked in only three minutes. I'm going to go ahead and add in just a touch of vanilla. This should be about a quarter teaspoon of vanilla. And at this point, if you wanted to add a little bourbon or a little Kahlua, that would taste great in this. I'm also putting in a teaspoon and a half of butter. And then we'll add in the pecans in a few minutes. So I've gone ahead and stirred in the vanilla and the butter. This is kind of sugaring up on me just a little bit. I'm going to add in eight ounces of Philadelphia cream cheese to this. It's already been softened to room temperature. I'm just going to go ahead and whip that together. Look at how nice and creamy that's getting. We'll just whip that praline mixture right in there so it'll have a beautiful caramel flavor to it. And we'll go ahead and add one third of a cup of chopped pecans to this. I'm going to just go ahead and stick this into the freezer for a few minutes while I'm making my chocolate cups. And then we'll pull this back out. We'll fold in some whipped cream into this. Boy, that's looking creamy and rich. And see how fast this went already, you guys? Unbelievably fast. This is a 20-minute dessert. I've got some baking cups here, just some little cupcake papers. I went ahead and sprayed them with spray aerosol oil. We're going to go ahead and take a pastry brush. I'm going to dip into this chocolate, and I'm going to make a pool of chocolate down in the bottom of here. I'm going to dip twice into the chocolate per cup, and then I'm going to work the chocolate up the sides of this little cup. They get a little bit hot. You can just maneuver them around, though. And we'll just go ahead and cover all of these cups on the inside of the cup. Just like that. And you want to leave about an eighth of an inch of chocolate on the bottom of these because that way they'll get thick and they won't break through the bottoms like I did the other night when I was practicing. I'll go ahead and finish these up and I'll be right back. I decided too that I wanted to add another three quarters of a cup of chocolate chips because I was too low. We're going to paint our cups a second time so I want to make sure I have enough 
chocolate chips in here. This chocolate is almost melted, which makes me think that our cups are probably almost done. Let me go grab the cups. I'll be right back to you. The first cup is done. I don't know if you can see that those are set solid right now. That it did take less than seven minutes. So let's give them a second coat. I thought I'd just show you what I'm doing when I'm giving the second coat. I'm just kind of twisting these cups right in the muffin tins here and making sure that bottom is nice and thick. But they're already setting up great. We'll have nice thick chocolate on these. Now I forgot to mention too, you can use semi-sweet or milk chocolate. Okay, so I whipped some whipped cream up. It only took two minutes. You can see it's nice and thick and stands up. We're gonna go ahead and put that in a bowl and we'll mix all this praline mixture all together. And look at how nice and thick the cream cheese mixture got with the pralines in it. It stands right up after being in the freezer. I'm gonna switch out and get my whisk in here. Okay, we've got our whisk. We'll just kind of fold that cream in. That cream cheese mixture is really stiff. These cups are gonna set up really nicely. See, we'll just fold that whipped cream in. It's got that nice, rich, caramely, praline kind of tint going to it. Look at that. Okay, was that fast or what? Two coats. Done in less than 14 minutes. What we're going to do next is we're going to go ahead and peel the paper off of these little cups. You just start at the top, and I work my way around the top very quickly so that they don't start melting in your hand, and they'll pop right up just like that. It'll kind of look like a Reese's cup. All I do is I get that little paper going, and you just kind of pull against the paper, and it'll pull right from within those ribs of that little cup. And see, just before you know it, it only takes about 30 seconds to release each one, and you have a little cup again. Hey, I got my little chocolate cups all ready to go. I went ahead and put our filling in a Ziploc bag so that I can just use it to pipe this in. And we'll just fill them just like that. Oh, look at that, those pecans. Oh, isn't that lovely? This is so decadent. And what a fast, easy dessert. Just for you, Paula. Oh, I think I came out with a real winner here. Oops. Looping over into the other cup. I'm sure it'll go down just fine anyway. Look at that. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Let me get these transferred to a plate and we'll decorate these up. Let's grab a lovely looking cup. This looks like a beautiful cup. We'll just set it in the center of this plate here. I love Paula's stylist, Libby. She had a great idea with taking an egg slicer and slicing through your strawberry, but not all the way through. I'm just going to decorate this with a little strawberry there. And then I'm going to put a couple of chocolate chips on top of this. See how cute those little mini chocolate chips look on there? I wanted to do one more strawberry with that. Now doesn't that look beautiful? I made the praline recipe that is included in this recipe the other night and I went ahead and made some praline cookies that I think we'll just decorate that plate with. Now doesn't that look pretty? It's time to eat this bad girl. I'm just going to eat it without a spoon. Mmm. Wow, this will knock your guest socks off. This is really, really decadent and good. I want to dip those strawberries in this chocolate and in this pralines and cream. It's the perfect combination. Thank you, Paula. Thank you, Philadelphia Cream Cheese. We love you. So many people are behind me, and I've been doing my darndest to prove them right. They've believed in me for a long time. I'm really happy to be back cooking, and I'm glad Philadelphia is always in my fridge. Take care. Take care of others. Create community. Go out there and share your food. Share your Philadelphia. And until next time, take care.